Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on a brand new makeup line. My partner got me all of these items for my birthday. She got me the full collection. And the brand is by a YouTuber called Kaylee MUA, which I've been following her for years and I absolutely love her. And yeah, as soon as she said she was bringing out a makeup brand and a makeup line, like I was like, yes, I want this. So... The brand itself is called Cash Beauty. So I'm gonna quickly show you the products. I'll also tell you the prices as I'm using them. Um, and yeah, I'll do my full face of makeup and I'll use each of the products for it. So the first product is the Cash Beauty Secret Treasure Eyeshadow Palette looks like this or the packaging I'll show you this properly when I do my eyes in a minute also the whole collection is called the secret treasure collection that's the first one then you have the cash beauty luxury fake mink lashes which look like this and then you have the three secret lip treasure lip kits so you have three of them so you've got rose nude true nude and rust nude so yeah, let's jump on into the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by priming my eyes. I'm just gonna treat this eyeshadow like I would any other. Okay, so that is my eyelids primed. And ready so so now I'm gonna take the cash beauty secret treasure eyeshadow palette okay so all of the cash beauty products are cruelty free and vegan friendly which I think is amazing Um, I'm just if I'm looking this way it's just because I'm looking at the laptop to tell you the prices and things so on the website itself it says this must have a palette features nine distinct eyeshadows inspired by the adventure and glimmer of sunken treasure chest overflowing with riches a mix of shimmering coppers matte browns and glistening golds the sun-kissed golden toned browns are versatile and perfect for creating subtle day looks as well as smoky grunge style night looks so sounds like a perfect like everyday kind of palette now this is i'm in the uk so in pounds this is 27 pounds and 8p Okay, so that's the sleeve of it. We've got the ingredients in the back. It's 28 grams. This palette does have a mirror in it. And if I compare it with my other two palettes that I use a lot. Now these two palettes are at a drugstore. Um, so it's still a bit cheaper. I think they're about 10 to 15. But... I like kind of smaller palettes anyway and it's a bit I think it's like the tiniest bit thinner and it's only a bit smaller really in size See? and then the weight difference this is 1.30 grams and that's the same and yeah this one is 28 grams so this is the front of it i think this is such cute packaging like i've i'm even going to keep the sleeves on or they'll be like this in my makeup um collection these are so cute and then you have a mirror so it just says cash beauty and secret treasure and it's quite a good mirror and it's a good size too and you have the shadows so you have the film bit so you have nine shadows so you have gemstone script burnt fade treasure tomb tarnish wreck and forbid okay so i'm just gonna do some swatches um probably should have done this on my other hand but um oh well i'll on the next one So, I don't know if you'll be able to see. 
my light's not very okay so hopefully you'll be able to see this because the light in here is really bad but this is so pretty this gemstone this is script and this is burnt they are so nice so now i'm gonna go in with fade treasure which looks so that is so pretty on my finger and then tomb so fade treasure tomb wow that is so good and these are really like pigmented so you've got keep doing this on my mic oh well so we've got fade treasure which is so nice and tomb last one is tarnish wreck and forbidden Tarnish, Wreck, Forbidden. They are so nice, honestly. So the first shade I think that I'm going to take is this shade here, Script. I really do like the um, shade names though. So there's only like a little bit of kickback there. It's the tiniest bit ever. I'm gonna place that in my crease. These are such nice shades. Kind of gonna stamp it in and go back and forth. Like that. And then I will take another brush. and just buff it out like that and then and I'm just going to build it up these are so nice like it feels really nice and skin it doesn't feel like the formula's kind of like dragging my skin or anything because sometimes i find that like a formula if it's like too dry or it will just like drag on the skin but these are so nice and when you feel them they feel really like soft as well and a bit like creamy but they're just beautiful they blend out so easily, or at least this one does. It, that is so nice. So now I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Then we'll go into our second shade. So now I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush. Again, make sure I haven't got anything on this. I'm just using a tissue to kind of make sure okay so now i'm gonna take the shade burnt which looks like a really nice like chocolatey kind of brown just gonna bring the color slightly above that like so I really like that and I'm going to use the same brush as before and just buff it into the skin like in the eye I love how blendable these shadows are. Yeah, that looks alright. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Fade from here. 
Oh, let's... Not all the way, like, in, basically. And I'm just building up the colour to get what I want. Just putting a little bit of this in the crease, just to kind of help it blend. These shades are honestly so nice. I like this so nice to work with as well because sometimes I think like you can have really nice shades but they're not blendable or you just can't seem to get on with them you can't work with them these I think you really can and these are such gorgeous browns and uh, like the glitters and everything oh they're just so nice this is definitely gonna become my new everyday palette <laughs> Blend this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Rec, so this colour, and just slightly go over where I've just gone, basically. Like mainly on the outer corner, but then just kind of brush it along like that and then blend it together I cannot wait to see what else she brings out next if like the other products are just as good as this eyeshadow palette then you know I want it all basically so that is that now just the same on this eye right. so now I'm just gonna put script in here a bit so where I didn't use that brown can I just blend it Like that. So far I'm so impressed with this palette. And actually before I do anything else, there's one other thing I did not do. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Right, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take gemstone. So this one and put that as a brow highlight. Apparently these can be used on like your face as well. You want a highlight? That is nice. Like it's not really like bright or anything, but that's kind of what I want. We'll go in there just a little bit more. I like the kind of the reflex it's got in it as well, so I think that's gonna look so cute in a minute. Okay, so now I'll do the eyeliner. This is the part where I'm like, please do not mess up. Okay, so that's my eyeliner done for now. So the next step is face makeup. So I'm just gonna do my normal routine. Not a lot there really. See, I really, really enjoyed that um, palette. I think that is honestly one of the best palettes I've had in a long time. 
Okay, so lately I've been doing my like concealer and the contour first, then my foundation. So I'm gonna keep going with that. So contour stick. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face. So I'm using script. top of that I'll put wreck and then I will get a the brush that I used earlier to buff everything out and just buff that out Gonna go in with contour, bronzer, and blush, and then we will do some more Cash Beauty products. So, contour. Next item is Cash Beauty False Lashes, so I'm just going to put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes first and then we will get into seeing what these lashes are like. Okay, so that is my lashes now. So, 
So, the Cash Beauty Luxury Fake Mink Lashes. By the way, as I'm opening up all these products on camera is the first time I'm opening them up. Like, I didn't even open these up on my birthday. <laughs> I only pulled out the um, lipstick kit so my sister-in-law could see. So it doesn't come with eyelash glue, which to me is fine. Oh my god, they are so soft. Like, I think they're so soft. So I am going to go for the style Elsie. You think? don't know. What style should I go for? I think... Like, I feel like Elsie would be, like, my everyday one. So, I think, because I'm just trying them out and stuff, I will go for the more dramatic ones, daggers. So, I'm just going to take these off the thin. So, yeah, the band is quite thick. So, if you don't like thick bands, then maybe not for you. I'm, like, 50-50 with bands, like, being thick. Sometimes I get on with them, sometimes I don't. So, they are curved. I still curl them around a bit because that is me. I always do that. And then I'll take some duo glue and I'll just start putting some on the lashes. But yeah, these so far feel so smooth. Smooth? I mean soft. Smooth. Okay, so I've put them down to kind of dry for a little bit so they kind of sit like that, which I like. I love how these like eyelashes look like they're like stacked. I think it looks like they're two layers. That's so cool. Okay. So I feel like these possibly could be dry, so we're gonna go for it. I think we're just gonna go for it. So this will be my left eye. So yeah, they are like dramatic, but I kind of like it. I feel like I need to bring up my eyeshadow though in a minute, just to kind of match it. Okay, so I'm going to reapply this one. So the first one I did. So that is the lash. So, while I wait for that one to redo its thing, I'm gonna you know, just separate my natural lashes here. So yeah, this is what it looks like up close. I am, I'm gonna just quickly put a bit more eyeshadow on and then I'll do it once I've put that. Um, one on again as well. So, I want script and burn. So, that's the lashes fully on. So, yeah. Okay, so now it's lip kit time. So I'll show you all three. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get a tissue. So just in case you didn't know, or I didn't say, I can't remember if I did. Um, the lashes are 11 pounds 71 and they are reusable, so. Yeah, so the next thing is lip kits, and the lip kits are 17 14 inch. So I'm going to use True Nude first, then we'll settle on one at the very end. So the lip liner that's really smooth and creamy. So for True Nude, you've got this here. 
like I said, I will take um, photos for you guys. And that's the lip colour for True Nude. That's really nice. Then we have Rose Nude. The lip liners and lipsticks are so creamy. This is the Rose Nude Lip Liner. And that's Rose Nude Lipstick. That's really pretty. These are such nice nudes. Like, I love nudes, but I always want, like, a little different nude each time. Not the same one all the time. And these are perfect. Then we've got Rust Nude. It's a very like rustic nude obviously, but that's the lip liner, it's really nice. And you don't have to just keep the lip liner with the lipstick either, you can mix and match if you want. And then that's the Rust Lipstick. So I'm gonna try them on in their attended like lip combos and then afterwards see what I think kind of thing. So, true nude first. This is the lipstick. Please do ignore my dry lips today. But that is so nice. I really love this combo. See, I really love that actually. That's so pretty. Like, I feel like, I'm probably gonna rate them, but this is probably for me like a seven out of 10, this lip one. That little combo. And now I'm gonna go with Rose Nude Lip Liner. That is such a nice like pinky kind of nude colour. Show more like pinky upon camera, but it's so pretty. Um yeah. And then the last one is Rust Nude Lip Liner. That is so nice. So I really love these lipsticks, I mean, and lip liners, they are really creamy. But I think I have a combo that I want to try in mind. So we're going to do that and then I'll go through my final thoughts of the video. So I'm going to use True Nude Lip Liner. Then I want to try it with Rust Nude Lipstick. That is beautiful. Like, that is just, yes. Okay, so. I am just going to put on highlighter and then we'll go through the final thoughts. I've got that highlighter, so I'm going to use. What one do I want? I think I'm going to use Gemstone as my highlighter. I like that because it's not like two in your face or anything like that I wonder if I can do this ooh so I've got 
a gemstone and treasure on here. I kind of mixed them together. So we've got a nice, really nice highlight. Okay, so this, let's see if I can bring this in closer for you guys. This is the finished look using all Cash Beauty products. So, the eyeshadow palette, I love this and I'll be using this again and again and again. I think this is probably going to be my go-to palette all the time. Like, it's just so nice. The formulas of the eyeshadows are nice, the way they blend out are beautiful, the pigment is so nice and just, they just look perfect. I love these. The eyelashes, I love. Doug is like, obviously I was like, oh, they're gonna be really dramatic and stuff, but I'll still give them a go. But I actually really like them. Like, they might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I really like Daggers, and I have a feeling I'm gonna like Rich and Elsie. I, if you don't like having to trim your eyelashes, I probably wouldn't recommend them. But for me, I don't mind having to trim them. Um, so these are just beautiful and these will get worn so much trust me <laughs> and then when it comes to the lip kits I love the lip kits so I think true nude is just beautiful like it's just such a beautiful nude and then rose nude would probably be my second favorite that is gorgeous like pinky nude and it's just beautiful and then i think i do think the true nude and rust nude are kind of like up there at the top two for me but my favorite combo so far of what i've tried is definitely the one i'm wearing now beautiful so yeah i hope you guys all really enjoyed this video and loved the review and hope that you know if you guys wanted to purchase anything but you're kind of on the fence that this helped you out a little bit and i will see you on the next one bye guys